what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm gonna be watching some more supernatural this is season 7 episode 12 and it's titled time after time so let's get into it all right let's do this move fast wait wait, wait. what's the plan exactly don't die son of a Jody Mills, I wake you? Sure. Jody! Uh, yeah. Aww. Uh, I mean, uh... Um, I got something that smells like you boys. Body turned up in Canton, Ohio. Local PD's trying to bury the story and the body. Okay, um, so, uh, what's up with the body? Well, when it went missing, it was a perfectly normal grad student named Charles Durbin. When it turned up, the thing was mummified, minus the wrapping. Oh, I feel bad. We didn't get her anything. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I hope you're watching cartoon smut because reading Dick Roman crap over and over again is just self-punishment. It's called anime, and it's an art form. I love anime. Well, Very nice. particular anime, but... Check around back. Oh, no. Paper beater rock. Stupid. Every time, dude. You don't learn, do you? Special Agent Smith. This is uh, Special Agent Smith. No relation. Whoa. <laughs> Mind if we, uh, my mom's sleeping? Oh, I'm on the steps medicating when I hear fighting. So I look. There's my neighbor, Durbin, and some dude dressed like my grandpa's got him by the neck, right? What do you mean it looks like your grandpa? I uh, snappy shoes, suit, one of those uh, Justin Timberlake hats. Oh, you mean a, a fedora? Ha-ha. Justin Timberlake hat. Love it. He aged before my eyes. He looked like a raisin. You know what? I'll give him I'll cred give because... He admitted he was medicating as well. Thank you, officer. Officers. All right, let me drive for a sec. Are you gonna look at more anime, or are you strictly into dick now? Sam. Hmm. Those local feeds? Yeah. How did you do that so fast? A little tutorial from Frank. All right, well, here's all the cameras around that store. You need to teach me that trick. <laughs> hey, check it out. Timberlake. Recognize that man. Yeah. I mean, he lived on my parents' street. Mr. Snyder. Where'd you say your parents live? So I'm guessing he's, like, immortal, but he has to... suck the life out of people? Do. Dude, a fedora, dude. He had some weird ring, okay? Hey! Hey, you! Drop the gun! Put it down, drop the gun. All right. Is it like a flash ring? Are we back in the past? Yeah. No signal. Are you some kind of Jerry spy? Jerry who? <laughs> and a terrible one at that. This badge was issued 68 years from now. Ace work, Crow Muncher. I'm stuck in 1944? We're all stuck in 1944, you bunny. She's called him 
bunny. What the hell? Tell me more about the red light. Are you seriously asking? You want out of this jail. You're gonna tell me everything you can about that man and the so-called light. Okay. You're a hunter. I don't know what you're talking about. Demons, ghosts, shifters. Hey, I've killed them all. And you're the same. Just 68 years before me, huh? Ness. Elliot Ness. Am I supposed to know that name? Dean. No, why? Where's Dean? The thing that's been mummifying people took him in a friggin' ball of light and disappeared. You guys get that a lot? <laughs> More than most people. Well, I got you into this, so... No, 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 you didn't. All you did was Shut just... Shut up, Sam. How can I help? Well, um... How do you feel about driving and lifting boxes? I mean, Untouchables is like one of my most favorite movies ever. What? I must have seen that thing like 50 times. I've seen it, but like I'm, I'm in the... Oh, yeah, 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 you don't even know. Oh, you are... <laughs> wait, 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 just slow it down, okay? Now, time travel. Is that something you find up a lot of sleeves in the future, or...? No, 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 it's, uh, not normally on the menu. Trust me, I'm as surprised as you are that I'm here. So, does this mean that I'm an untouchable now? It means we gotta get you into some new clothes. You look like <clears throat> some kind of bingle stiff. Stiff your brain pen. What? Who is he, some farmer clown? He's, uh, from the future. Yeah. Gas costs four bucks, you can get cheese out of a spray can. Yeah. The president, he's a black guy. I could go on. <laughs> Ain't me impressed. I think Bobby may have had a slight hoarding issue. I could barely get the door open in that storage locker. Uh, and um, I'm pretty sure something's alive in at least three of those boxes. What bucket of syrup do you two idiots step into? <laughs> I'm funny, sweetheart. No, oh, you uh, just gotta remind me of someone. Okay, Ezra, we need your help. It seems we're on a time travel. Delightful. Got it. Yeah. Is a legion ring? I don't know. <laughs> it's the mark of Kronos. Who? You got a time. It's crazy. Uh, the thing is, with the old gods, once upon a time they were they were just short of invincible, but they got a lot of their mojo from worshippers, from people feeding them. These days, not so much. Right. They're not what they used to be. But they make up for lack of power with being twice as pissed and a lot more hands-on. Okay, so why is this guy killing people? Could be he's killing folks for his time juice. All right, well, how the hell am I going to ride him back to 2012? He's using the Biff strategy. He's using what? He... Kronos is betting on races. He already knows the outcome. Mom. Look at this. Back to the future reference, I believe. Yeah. What's L Y? <laughs> it's not a what, it's a who. Lester Young, he lays bets for a lot of the flunkies in town. Yeah, I ain't talking. Oh, no, it sounds like it's on helium. <laughs> ah. I learned it from watching you. <sighs> Lester, that a German name? Hey, okay, okay, there's no need to snap your cap. Who, who are you looking for? Bell by the name of Snyder. What, that guy? I mean, Bum never missed a bad way. He gave me the heebie-jeebies, so I cut him off. So you... Okay, your sounds better you first. It says here that people could summon Kronos to compel him to tell them their futures. And I've got the spell to do it right here. So why the damn it? Because <sighs> calling Kronos isn't the problem. It's making sure we summon him when Dean is right there. Literally with his hands on the guy so he can surf him back. That's not automatic? No, it's more like we need to get the time on there and right to the exact second. We have a photo. That would be the perfect time, right? You know when the photo's taken, then you know when that will happen. 
I started doing this because vampires were turning folks in Cleveland. Yeah, you got the bug. That's when I got the bug. Sometimes you just want to punch through the red tape with a silver bullet. Well, everything's coming up, boss kid. Talk to me. I am. The owner of the house, Miss Lila Taylor, age 20, lives alone. Take the car, head back to Ezra, see what she's got. I'm gonna stay here and keep my papers on the Sheik and the Sheba. That's it. That is a thousand-year-old olive carved by Vestal Virgins and dipped in the blood of you don't want to know. Pulling this together wasn't easy. You and Ness both owe me, Smoothie. <laughs> you can have whatever you want as soon as we gank this thing. Yeah, yeah. Take your twig, wise guy. Well, now, how's it work? You stick this end in his heart. Miss, he has you for supper. Make sense? Wait, if I, if I kill Kronos, I'm stuck here? You just now realized? Oh, come on. 1944 ain't so bad. Yeah, you head over here, punch Hitler in the neck. Oh, there's lots of ways to pass the time, sugar. Back to the Future 3. Need a boss of paper. I haven't seen Back to the Future in a really, Mr. really, Mr. really, Mr. really, really, really long time. You know, I stopped by the police station to take care of that hunter who rode me here. Hi, I Logan! Me jail. I thought I might see you again. Go, oh. Logan! Logan, I go! Sweetie, I want you to pack a bag. Excuse me? Oh, you're always asking me where I go. Come with me tonight. Is it, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> I just need you to pack a bag and I'll explain why on the way, okay? But the diner. Forget I... about them. Call them tomorrow, okay? Just go pack. Is everything okay up here? What? But, uh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Not to worry. Because I'm going to install something that will protect this house forever. Yeah. You are toast. I'll keep pushing. You go get some shut eye. Oh, that's okay. I can. Do I have to use my mom voice? Young man. <laughs> Sammy, turns out Snyder is Kronos. Wait, this is from Dean? Ha Just read. I wrote him to 1944. I'm working with Elliot Ness. Yes, that one. Track down Kronos. He's banging some chick named Lila Taylor, and we've got a weapon. We're going after him. Take care of yourself, Sam. Look at the top. November 5th, 44. So now we know the exact date Dean had hands on Kronos. All we need is the exact time. Which we get how? Hoping we ask someone who was there. That's Ethan. Do you remember the last time you saw Ethan? Of course. November 1944. The night the clock stopped. The, the clocks stopped? 11.34. Every clock in the house. Ma'am, can you tell us anything else you remember? Strangled that poor man. What poor man? Two policemen came to arrest Ethan. Ma'am, was this one of them? Ethan choked the life out of that man.
Let's talk. It's just everything I said to you is true. Oh, he might have left off a few details. He tell you he's a monster who jumps through I'm time. a god! Look, I'm not a monster. Listen, I'm the opposite. Well, don't forget to tell her about all the people you murdered along the way, Boy Scout. What? It's not like that. I do it for you, Lila. I don't understand. Suck people dry. Wild guess it takes three kills to juice you Sacrifices. Up. Three sacrifices, and I can control when and where I land. But once I get there, it's never for long. Before I'm tossed through time again, that's my life, Lila. And all I want is to get back here. Because you just love the clean cat in there. Because I love her! Because I lived the worst existence you can imagine, and then I found you. After you killed Tyler Crosby and, oh. and Kathy Porter, Lila here was gonna be victim number three, am I right? Don't act like you never killed a soul before you met her, pal. But now I have you. I knew Kathy. She has to come into the diner every day. Lila, please. You are a monster. No, Lila, please. Oh, Chrono. But it ruined himself. It spits in. I can kind of understand him. Hey, I touched him off! Well, that was season seven, episode twelve of Supernatural, titled "Time After Time." Um, I can kind of like sympathize with him just slightly, just the way that he like spoke about it. Like, you know, he lived a, a, I guess he went around killing people all the time and jumped through time because he was bored. But then he met someone that he loved and he wanted to stay there, but um, kept being dragged through time and dragged away from the one that he loves so he just kept killing to get back to her and like I can understand that it's wrong but I can understand that um it's an okay episode um I'm not a huge fan of like the 40s or old stuff <laughs> but uh yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction though, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.